Hey everybody, welcome back to The Bourbon Note. I'm Greg. I'm Ben. And today, we're drinking bourbon. All right, Ben, a month or two ago, we visited a barrel proof from this distillery. Sure. And you had actually bought two yep. different versions. And we're a little behind schedule because they are still, released in yeah. certain months. Yep. But we do have, bam, just before the C922 comes out or starts making its way to the shelves, we've got the B522 Larceny. So this one comes in at 123.8 proof. It is larceny barrel proof, just like the other one that we did not too long ago. We did the A122. So this is the B model, which comes out in the middle of the year. And yep. they do three a year. And uh, we picked some up last year and had, had thoughts. I mean, it, it's it was... a really good whiskey, but yeah, you know, I know it's a bit expensive and you know, a bit unique and maybe, I don't know. We were less than thrilled with last year's. Well, it was good. It just, you know, I think I was a little more less than thrilled with last year's when I compared it to the A122. Right. So this so being the, the B522. And I will confess, I have seen other reviews about this one. Mm -hmm. And I've heard some pretty good things. Okay. So I'm excited about it. Uh, the A121 was good. Yeah, it I was definitely it was liked fine, it. But high, more, more expensive than your normal arsony. And, you but know, not it bad, is though. Proof. I mean, yeah. considering it's a barrel proof, these, I think I paid 58 bucks for. That's true. Nothing I mean, wrong with that. The Elijah Craig's are quite a bit more expensive. Yes, and quite a bit more aged thing. as well, though. So yeah, that's true. Yeah. But we do have a theory. Well, I have a theory. I don't know if you endorse this. I think weeded whiskeys age different. Yes, we've talked about this before. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree. And so I think a younger age, you know. Uh, it seems like a weeder can, can hold up to a, a little bit younger age better or can go bad sooner you know what i mean right it can be yeah. over aged yep um, so i think a good really well aged weeder um is hard to do truly really makes me wonder about that whole pappy 23 thing that's yeah never had it Ooh, great nose wow. very nutty really i didn't get that i'm getting a lot of nuttiness hmm. i'm getting caramel nutmeg which is actually not a nut kind of thing it's just nutmeg um a little bit of a spice there yeah yeah I can see that. Hmm. There's a another note that's really interesting, and it's hard for me to put my. There's something a little dark. Dark, yeah, maybe almost in the cherry molassesy kind of. I was gonna say molasses, rich. or even yeah. maybe like a chocolate covered cherry yeah. sort of thing. Because I'm getting a little bit of a that dark note, like the chocolate. But one thing I'm not getting are weeder type notes. Yeah, I'm not getting like anything sort of bready or like the actual yeah. wheat yeah. note itself. I'm gonna go for it. All right, let's do it. I mean, at this point, I'm really interested in um, have high expectations. Hmm. I think I think they all sneak up. Like this is not a sledgehammer to the face. No, it's a building progression, building heat of heat and flavor, and they're it's really really good. Yeah, I like this. But it doesn't it doesn't come out of the gate like super aggressive even though, even though it's 120 something proof. Mm-hmm. It, it's dry though on the finish. Like it has a nice sweetness and gone. It is a little bit, yeah. It kind of drops off, but the flavors are really nice. It's very it's sweeter than mm -hmm. I was expecting. Definitely sweeter than I'm, I was. Yeah. Boy, almost. That's really nice. I like that. Some of the brown sugar is coming through on the palate. Yeah. Actually starting to get a little bit of the wheat notes. Yeah. I don't a, get a, those a on the nose. Boy, this is the first time in a long time I've ever had the thought, is this too sweet? 
Really? Yeah, I mean, and I like sweet whiskey. So, our issue with the A121 compared to the A122 was that the A121 was just kind of oaky and a little bit more tannic and bitter. Yep. Do you feel like in the interest of science, maybe we should bring those out? Sure, you wanna make this a larceny flight? I think we should. Well, we need glasses. I think, I don't see any way around it at this point. Yeah, I agree, because okay. this one, and maybe I'm so, just misremembering. We've got I, <laughs> yeah, this little tiny bit of the A121. So let's do, since we've already tasted this one, let's put that one in, the, in last place. Hold off and sipping anymore. Well, you can pour as much as you'd like. And then we've got the A122 right here. So. Gotcha. All right, so I need a very small pour of... And you're gonna need to pour a little more of that because I, oh. if you watch this channel, I think we all know where this is going. <laughs> Ooh, I probably didn't need quite that much of that one. <laughs> You really need to get, we can start using like the little spouts that they use at the bar. <laughs> I actually used one of those to fill up sample bottles to send out to our Patreon supporters, which by the way, we do have a Patreon you can check out if you fancy. And thank you so much for the support to our new members. Yes, we should call out, we wanna say thank you. We've been meaning to do this to David, Bobby, Mike, and Dennis, totally. our Patreon Glad subscribers. Glad to have you aboard. Yes, we appreciate you very, very much. So I'm gonna start with See, now I'm gonna need a little bit more of the, this is the A122, okay. I need more of that one. Okay. Just a tad more. All right. Okay, that'll give me a sip and then enough for the blend. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the A121 now that we've at least tried this other one. Okay. So we've already reviewed the, the middle one, so. Sure. This is just a comparison at this point. Okay. I'm getting peanutty on the nose on this one too. Definitely. <coughs> Peanut. Um, this one, I'm actually not getting a lot off yet. The B, or no, the A22. But this last one is more almondy, which is, I guess. The more, A121 is? Uh, or the, is the almondy, the, the okay. May, the B22. Yeah, nutty, peanutty on the, this original one. Yeah, for sure. It's been open for over a year, although we've done several tests and it doesn't seem like an open bottle really is all that affected. I'm, I see a lot of mixed uh, mixed reviews. Yeah, some of, people say yes, some people say no. And we've done several tests and we couldn't tell the difference with a bottle that was this far gone for a year. So we're either terrible at tasting and nosing whiskey. Or other people lie. Or maybe it's just different bourbon to bourbon. Okay, I've could be. Nose these enough. Actually, I'm getting a little less off of the middle one now. That's what, yeah, I totally agree. Off the, the A122, yep. interestingly enough. All right, yep. let's go for it. This is the A121. It's good. It feels a little lacking so, compared to the B522. It so they all have this approach, and I think it's just unique, where they, when it hits your tongue, you almost get nothing, and it builds, mm -hmm. and it's not the sledgehammer that you, a lot of other cast strength type things would have. Yeah, it's like it's there, but it, it doesn't come across as like a cask cup. strength. Yeah. And then it's like this wave of heat mm -hmm. and proof and flavor. And this one doesn't seem to build that far. Like it doesn't get too aggressive with the heat or the flavor or anything. Yeah. It's got nice flavors. Um, it is a bit sweet, but it's definitely not as much as the, the last one there. Um, yeah, this is super nutty. Yeah. And at 60 bucks, I think that's okay. But mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's at the high end of its price point. I mean, it's a nice whiskey, but... Well, compared to a lot of other things that are 60 bucks on the market, totally. I'm not mad at the price of these at all. They're good, and it, I think yeah. they are a bit unique. I think absolutely worth it. I would recommend it as a buy mm -hmm. for 60 bucks. Yeah. Um, I'm not doing water between, because these are all larcenies, and they're just a little bit different, so I want to see the, sure. the raw comparison here. All right, so the second one here. A122. Still, well, that time I got a bit of real deep richness. That molasses kind of like crystallized sugar. Yeah, that comes through on the palate. That's a good way to describe that. It does kind of have that, where it's almost a textured taste, you know? So that one's really a rich, interesting bourbon with lots of flavors. 
it does have a really aggressive, well, it has a, a nice level of sweetness and it has what I would say is an aggressive wood char. I was just gonna say the, the oak on this one is... It's really aggressive. And if you would have asked me before doing this, I would have said that the A121 had that more. Mm -hmm. But I feel like there's some of that wood sugars. Mm -hmm. So I think what you're saying maybe is like with the oak, and then you said like that sugary sort yep. of thing. It's like those caramelized wood sugars yeah. really come through nicely. I really like it actually. I, I do too. I think it's really interesting and a good whiskey geek type whiskey because you can yeah. sit and drink, you know, a couple of glasses over an hour or two. Yeah. And really get a lot out of it. Um, this one's really good and interesting. But it, it's weird because it has this really strong, aggressive wood note that's sometimes off-putting, but then it's kind of like muted with the sweetness of, yeah. the, of like the like the corn syrupy kind of sweetness. So going back and forth in the nose between the, the A and the B from 2022, yeah. the A almost has a little more of a floral to it. Not much, but just in comparison. This is more like candy sweetness, caramels, maybe even some peanut butter borderline. Wow. Chocolate. Way more way more sweetness and far less of the wood char. The barrel spice. On the B522. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, that taste right there was... You know, let's go backwards down the line here now. Mm -hmm. They're all really good in summary. However, they are all unique. And I know, like we mentioned in a previous video where we were talking about a little bit of like, what do we call it? Disappointing bourbons. Mm -hmm. You know, sadness and liquor is kind of seems to be our theme at times. Sure, yeah. But um, while we occasionally try something and think, oh, they're all the same and we skip one of the occasional releases, the reality is they are all different and they yeah. all are kind of like, it's. I mean, these flights are kind of fun. Yeah. The question I get sometimes, like I said with the Elijah Craig, is are they, at this point, are they different enough? Yep. These are definitely different. The A122 going backwards now from the B is um, definitely more, it's got, I'm noticing those tannic notes. Yep. Try this one more this time. Yeah, and the A121 is just coming off really nutty overall. All right, well, Let's go in for the blend. This isn't exactly a 50-50-50. Yeah. <laughs> That's how our math works here at the Bourbon Note. So this is an equal, almost equal blend of A121, A122, B522. Haven't gotten a hold of the, haven't even seen the... Um, and if, you, if you're looking at the proof, they are, it is approximately 360 proof. Yeah, so, so this is gonna be a sledgehammer. Yeah. Ooh, that actually smells really good. Oh yeah, that's just sweetness and peanut butter and chocolate and so caramel. So essentially, if you added some water to this, you'd have larceny. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess with all of these, you would individually. Oh yeah, the nose on this is excellent. It's really controlled. Like, it mm -hmm. does have a lot of flavors, but nothing stands out as, like, out of control. All right, I'm going to try it. That's really good, actually. That's everything I'm looking for in a bourbon. It really is. <laughs> Sometimes, depending. Like, this is really sweet. This has a lot of the, the like I said, chocolate, peanuts, peanut butter, caramel, brown sugar. It's got all of that stuff. It really does. And some nice oak. You mentioned brown sugar. That's a really kind of a dominant note. Mm -hmm. And it's a really good bourbon flavor because it's not too aggressive or overpowering, but brings a lot of nice sweetness. Borderline graham cracker. Mm. So we're going to have to refer to this as the Larceny uh, Reserve pick or something like that, the Bourbon Note <laughs> Special or something. Right. And, and if only I had more of this, <laughs> I shouldn't have almost killed this. I saved this little bit specifically to sure. do this. Yeah. And now I wish I had saved more. Well, I mean, it did its job. Well, we can experiment with the 50-50 blend on this, but. And I have, well, I may have, is, do I have this one? I have one from like a year old. I may have another one of these. Oh, okay. To be honest with you. Oh, we can blend these up and. Yeah. Yeah. 
So in summary, I know we've kind of done three of them here now, but we, we, we came here to review the B522. I really like it. I really like it. I think it's the best out of the three. I don't know if I would say that. I think this one is more interesting, but maybe less approachable for a newer whiskey drinker. For it, sure. It is harsher, but that harshness is where you find the love, you know, if you want to get poignant for a moment. Every episode we make now, there's a quote that's just dying to be on a t-shirt. Liquor and sadness, the harshness is where you find the love. And that's, okay, new tagline. Instead of saying, share this video with a friend, the harshness is where you find the love. From now on. I actually like that one. That's you actually... saw it here. So um, that's going to be our thing, I think. Anyway, but the the B522 is, is really good. I, that's an absolute buy for me. Yep. Any of these are, to be honest. Like I think I said, it's going in the right direction. Yeah. So I have high hopes for the September yeah. release. Um, but even the ones that, you know, like, aren't quite as good as this one, at 60 bucks, I'm not mad at that price for any of these. Yeah, these are still... I mean, considering... There's a lot of $60 bourbons out there. I mean, you're getting a, a really good quality. Larceny's great, Heaven Hill's great. Mm -hmm. Barrel proof version, can't beat it. So yep. anyway, well, this has been a bunch of Larceny's featuring the Larceny Barrel Proof B522 on the bourbon note. I'm Ben. I'm Greg. Cheers. And remember, the harshness is where you find a love.